number of conflicts took place in South Carolina during the Revolutionary War. Many of these battles affected the outcome of the entire war. After losing at Saratoga in New York, the British attempted to turn the war towards South Carolina. They knew there were a large number of loyalists in the state, and they thought this might help them get things going in their favor again. The British had tried to capture Charleston before, but they were stopped. They tried again in 1780, and this time they were successful. The British blocked off the harbor and cut off supply lines. The Patriots had no choice but to give up the city. Once they took over Charleston, the British officers went a little too far. They burned down churches, stole from homes, and treated the citizens very poorly. Their actions turned even more people against them. Patriots in South Carolina were not going to let the British take over their state without a fight. Many South Carolinians started forming partisan groups. These were small fighting units that were not part of any official army. People like Francis Marion, Thomas Sumter, and Andrew Pickens all led partisan groups in South Carolina. They were not part of the Continental Army, but they were fighting against the British troops. They did not line up and fight like most armies did at this time. They used hit-and-run tactics to surprise the British soldiers. The Battle of Camden was a major defeat for the Continental Army. It looked like the British were going to take control of South Carolina. Horatio Gates had been the leader of the Continental Army in the South. He was blamed for the loss at Camden. After this loss, he was replaced. Command of the southern arm of the Continental Army was turned over to Nathaniel Green. Green knew he had to find a way to work with the partisan groups. He felt that would give him the best chance to defeat the British in the South. After Camden, Loyalist forces and British troops had been working their way through the backcountry, but they were stopped at the Battle of Kings Mountain. Mountain men from North and South Carolina surprised the British there. Like the partisan groups, these mountain men used hit-and-run tactics to defeat the British. They fought from behind rocks and trees and killed many British soldiers. Kings Mountain was a major turning point because after this battle, the British began to give up the idea of winning over the upcountry of South Carolina. At the Battle of Cowpens, the Continental Army and the partisan groups worked together. They both wanted to defeat the British. The American commander put together a battle plan. The partisan groups at Cowpens were led by Andrew Pickens. They attacked the British, and then they fled the field of battle. This tricked the British. They thought the Americans were retreating. Instead, the partisans led the British right into the Continental Army. The British were defeated. After Cowpens, the British Army had had enough of South Carolina. Under the command of General Cornwallis, the British moved to North Carolina to wait for supplies. Eventually, they moved northward toward Virginia. 137 battles were fought in South Carolina during the Revolutionary War.